I received these words of wisdom in an email from my cherished friend, Art Holst. These words lifted my spirit and made my day. It said, I just wanted you to know that at the tender age of 91, I had my first hole in one on number 14 at the Eagle Ridge Golf Club. He said, remember, if you don't swing at the ball, it has no chance of going in. Art Holst and I are members of Speakers Roundtable. He continues to inspire me with his sense of humor, zest for life, and love for others. He was an infantry captain in World War II, a referee in the NFL for 15 years, an extraordinary speaker. Art has been a mentor of mine since I began my speaking career 30 years ago. Here is one of my favorite Art Holst lines. I've been young, but you haven't been old. Recently, I asked Art, who's now 93, this question. How do you maintain such a vibrant life at your age? He said, Roger, always have something to do for someone else. Regardless of our age, we all have gifts inside of us waiting to be unwrapped and shared with others. Art taught me the value of being a lifelong regifter. The definition of regifting is the act of taking a gift you've been given and then giving it to someone else. These are not necessarily material gifts. They come in many forms. Wisdom, guidance, knowledge, or friendship. Art helped me understand that aging elegantly and living fully meant more than staying busy with activities that are self-focused. Rather, it's looking for opportunities to positively impact others. Think of how your life has been shaped by the act of someone regifting. Likely there are people you'll never forget. Perhaps it was a teacher, coworker, mentor, or perhaps even someone you met briefly. Regardless of who that person was, they gave you something that positively influenced and inspired you. So what talent, skills, or experience do you want to regift? In the history of the world, there's never been or ever will be anyone quite like you. Therefore, we all have distinctive gifts to offer. Maybe your gifts consist of encouragement, wisdom, knowledge, or a unique life journey. We all have the ability to choose how we want our life to make a difference and what legacy we want to leave. Think of the tremendous impact you have when you share your gifts with others. You inspire them to envision a future full of promise and hope. I was asked this question following one of my presentations. Roger, what do you want written on your tombstone? My initial response was, I'd rather be playing tennis. That's what I want on my tombstone. And thinking about the question further, what I'd really want on my tombstone were words similar to this. Roger was a regifter. In other words, that somehow my life left a positive impact. I believe that is a life well lived. By deciding to be a regifter, we have the amazing opportunity to make a profound difference in someone's life every day.